Film Masters brings to Blu-ray a pretty obscure 1976 international thriller entitled The Swiss Conspiracy, starring David Jansen and Senta Berger and John Saxon and Ray Land and Elkie Summer, Anton Differing and David Hess, just a few years after the uh, shocking role he portrayed in Last House on the Left. This was directed by Jack Arnold, which is a name you might not know, but who's, his films you do. He directed a ton of the old Universal monster movies. He directed The Creature from the Black Lagoon films. He directed Tarantula. Uh, he directed multiple episodes, one of the most frequent directors of The Brady Bunch. So he just worked, this guy worked a ton, and this was his last feature film. So shot in Europe, the story goes a little something like this. It was the Ray Meland is a Swiss bank manager. The film opens with a crawl and a bunch of tests, basically explaining to anybody who doesn't understand it how Swiss banks are the only ones in the world that are super secretive about who has the accounts there and the account information, and nobody, not even the government, can find out about it. So a lot of people use that to launder money or to hide ill-gotten gains, and a lot of criminals use Swiss banks and things like that. So that's the setup of the film. Ray Meland is a Swiss bank manager, no trace of a Swiss accent, who uh, is being blackmailed by some mystery person and blackmailing, I think it's like five people who have accounts there all saying, if you don't pay me X amount of money by a certain date, we're going to reveal to publicly who has these bank accounts and what's in them, and we're going to expose the ill-gotten gains and deeds of various people in the bank. So panicking and not wanting any publicity for this, Ray Meland calls in David Jansen, who's a private eye, who, uh, international man of mystery, private eye, who's uh, squinty and gritty and gravelly voiced. He's, hey, he's David Jansen, who comes in to try to figure out who's doing this and stop it before all is revealed. And before, as the film unfurls, more and more people start getting shot. So he wants to stop the killing, stop the madness, stop the insanity like Susan Powder, and make everything uh, groovy in the world of international finance. So it doesn't sound like a very exciting film. This is actually pretty fun. This is a film that has existed in the world. This is what Film Masters does. I always say this in these Film Masters reviews, but in case you've never seen one, Film Masters is this company, new company, that is dedicated to doing restorations and really nice releases of films that have been in the public domain forever, which always meant that anybody who wanted to could release them regardless of quality. So the quality cop of the films that Film Masters releases in most cases has always been pretty terrible. I looked. I went to look up to find the trailer for... Uh, Swiss Conspiracy Online, and I found Swiss Conspiracy is all over YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube for free. It looks horrendous. It's pan and scan, and it looks awful. And it, I'll tell you, if I had watched it that way, I would have been like, eh, it's kind of dull, it's kind of bland, whatever. But you watch this new Film Masters copy, which looks great and sounds great, and the soundtrack in this movie is fabulous. It is super funky. It's super funky, clavinetti, uh, exactly what I want in a 70s theme. Uh, it makes the film more accessible. It makes the film more exciting and immediate. You can actually see things. And uh, so if you're, if you're like, eh, I can watch it on YouTube. Yes, technically you can experience the film on YouTube, but I don't think anybody since this hit theaters has really experienced this movie properly until this new Film Masters version came out. I'm not saying it's a great movie. It's, it's fine. It's fun. If, if you like 70s cinema like I do, if you like like international thrillers, if you like that kind of soundtrack, if you like seeing a lot of actors slightly past their prime in a feature film shot in Europe where they all, I'm sure, did it to get a really nice vacation and a payday, paid vacation essentially, uh, some really nice locations in this. There's a really cool uh, foreplay kind of car chase between Senta Berger and David Jansen in sports cars, you know, driving through the Swiss Alps that ends with like a moment. Um, that's really cool. It's all shot on location. The interiors, I think, are all sets, but otherwise, it's it's got a really cool, fun look to it. So, uh, again, not top tier international seventies thriller. Apparently, from the the liner notes that I read, uh, written by uh, Lee Pfeiffer of Cinema Retro Magazine, he gets into the film's release like it was shot. I think in 75, it was released in 76, didn't come out to the US until 77, didn't really get much of a release. So it's still a pretty obscure, unknown movie, but it's fun. And as I've said before in other reviews, this is a, an era that I really like a lot. And anytime you can show me a film I've never heard of from that era with notable stars, I'm always kind of interested. It's like a little, little gift. It's like, oh, wow, that didn't know that existed before. So um, fun movie. Jansen's really fun and gritty. Everybody in it is good. Uh, and uh, I'd, if you like this kind of thing, you like this kind of thing. If you don't, uh, I, I don't know if I can convince you. So the extras, uh, sort of the format, by the way. So the film is, it's rated PG, which is, again, one of these things that you look at now and is really surprising that it's a movie really kind of made for grown-ups, but there's nothing 
overtly objectionable in it. There might be a slight amount of nudity. I don't think there's any profanity. There's no violence. There's just, you could make a movie back then. Nowadays, it seems like if you want to appeal to adults, you have to put things in there so that it's rated R so people will take it seriously. But back then, it was just like, we'll make the movie we're going to make, and then uh, it's going to be rated whatever it's going to be rated. Maybe you'd cut it down to get a, more, a wider audience if need be, but otherwise, you just you just made the movie. So rated PG. It's a DTS HD Master 2.0 mono audio, which sounds great. Dolby Digital 2.0 mono. It has uh, a commentary that we'll get on that we'll get to in a second. It, subtitles for the commentary, which is kind of cool. Um, I, I don't need them myself, but for those who do, that's that's a kindness. And uh, extra, so we have a commentary by podcasters and film historians Robert Kelly and Daniel Budnick. Uh, there's some really good info on the movie in this and the director, but overall they do kind of just make fun of the movie as they go and disparage the movie. And I'm not a, personally a fan of that, unless it's like a wildly terrible, laughably awful film. But I tend to... I tend to like the movies that I watch and the commentaries and it's just, it always kind of bugs me when people are just making fun of the movie. I'm just like, well, if it's so terrible, why are, why are we all sitting here? Uh, Jack Arnold, The Lost Years documentary, very interesting uh, 15 minute documentary about Jack Arnold talking about his career overall, but also the years, what he did post the films everybody knows about post I mean, if people know who Jack Arnold is, post the Universal Monster movies that he's known for, all the other stuff he did. Uh, a three-dimensional filmmaker visual essay about Jack Arnold that's 28 minutes. A, th a restored 35-millimeter trailer. They often will do this with the Film Masters releases, is that they basically recreate the original trailer using the audio from the original trailer, but uh, all imagery from the new transfer, so that it looks better than the original trailer would if whatever copy you'd find of it. And uh, unless they find the negative or a really pristine copy of the original trailer and they recreate the titles and all that. So that, that looks and feels like the original trailer. And then you have the original trailer. So you can see the aging process and all that. If you really want to see how good a transfer this is, go online, go on YouTube and find the Film Masters trailer for The Swiss Conspiracy and then just click on a copy of The, the Swiss Conspiracy and you'll be like, wow, how could I even watch this as it exists on YouTube. Anyway, what does this package look like? You have a very dashing picture of uh, David Jensen, vaguely clockwork orange feeling, if I just kind of squint at that, actually. And on the back, there's the back. You crack her open, and uh, you get the Swiss Conspiracy logo on the disc, and you get the Film Masters booklet, which uh, I like just read that before I came on here. And it's good. It's a really cool article. A lot of uh, pictures from the film. A lot of pictures of uh, the car chase, which is pretty notable. And, uh, and the... Uh, and John and John Ireland looking angry, so and it, yeah, there's just like a, there's a ski area sequence in this film that's really cool. There's uh, the car chase. I mean, it's it's pretty good for what it is. It's just not one of the one of the all time greats, let's say. So available now on Blu-ray from Film Masters. If you ever wanted to see David Jansen in HD, not the Prisoner, the film the film conspiracy, no no the Swiss conspiracy.